What's up everybody, this is Master Ian Gamer, and today I'm going to talk about the pros and cons of the 2017 Summer Games event, and, being the first repeat event in Overwatch history, what it could mean for the future of events in general. Let's start on a positive note and begin with the pros. The biggest pro in my opinion was the addition of 7 new Legendary skins. Not only is getting new skins great, as it always is, but the level of detail we've begun seeing with new skins recently has really started to raise the bar. I consider the Uprising event to be the first event to really stand out as having a much higher average skin quality, and this was then perpetuated by the Anniversary event and now the return of the Summer Games. These skins have very high levels of detail, and many of them are likely at least partially a result of popular community ideas. Additionally, the fact that Blizzard branched away from purely an athletic theme, and this time incorporated beach-themed skins as well, is great. It shows that they are open to exploring new event ideas, not that that's something we ever really doubted about them. While so far it's still just the sports and beach themes, I would love to see what other themes they can come up with in the future, but that's getting a little ahead of myself. The next big pro is that not only did the skins and cosmetics from last year return, but now they can be bought with credits at normal, non-event item prices. This is huge, because players who missed out on stuff last year can now complete their collection, and the discounted prices means that you won't even have to break the bank if you're trying to collect everything. Well, unless you have terrible luck, like I do. The third and final pro for the 2017 Summer Games is the return of Lucio Ball. This may sound contradictory to what I've already said with regards to Lucio Ball on my channel, but I really do think it was a great idea to bring it back. Being one of the most highly acclaimed past brawls, its return was more than welcome by the majority of the Overwatch player base. However, rather than just giving us the same game mode again as last year, Blizzard updated the experience by reworking a few of its mechanics and adding a second map to play on. And of course, I can't go without mentioning Copa Lucio Ball. The addition of a competitive version of Lucio Ball was unexpected by just about everyone, but was actually a very smart choice on Blizzard's behalf. People have long been asking for ranked versions of various arcade game modes, and so, with Lucio Ball being restricted to just a three-week event runtime, it was the perfect testing grounds for a trial run of a competitive arcade mode. However, this unfortunately is going to segue me right into the cons for this event, the first of which is competitive Lucio Ball. While I do think experimenting with this kind of ranked game mode is a fun and interesting idea, I severely hope that Blizzard doesn't in fact make this a permanent thing in the game. And I'm not talking about Lucio Ball specifically, as that will almost definitely be restricted to the Summer Games event, but rather any form of competitive other than the standard one which already exists. Having multiple competitive game modes would split the player base, thus resulting in longer queue times, and less evenly matched teams. Unbalanced teams are already a big issue with the current competitive system, and so adding more separate modes would only make the problem worse. I don't want to linger on this topic for any longer than I already have, and I trust that Blizzard will make the smart choice in this regard, but I am concerned with these kinds of possibilities in the future. The next con is that this year's Summer Games only featured 40 plus new items, as opposed to last year's 100 plus items. Now, before you criticize me for being greedy and wanting copious amounts of regular new content, the reason I'm listing this as a con is that we pure and simply aren't getting as much stuff this time as we did last. Of course, there is still everything from last year that we can unlock, but what if you already had it all? I've seen a number of people who, within the first few days of the event starting this year, got everything new worth getting. After all, the majority of the new content is just voice lines, which is something that even I don't get very excited over. With less new stuff every year, people will be less inclined to play during the event, as playing for only a couple days, or saving up a good bit of currency beforehand, can very reasonably net you everything of interest the event has to offer. Anyways, the last major con for this event goes hand in hand with this, which is the lack of non-voice line and non-legendary cosmetics. Featuring only two new highlight intros, one new emote, and no new epic skins, this event felt rather lacking in the mid-level cosmetics department. I'm pretty sure that many people don't really care that much about anything other than the legendary skins, but I for one am actually really fond of epic level items, as they make the selection of content feel more varied. Legendary skins don't feel so legendary when they're literally the only kind of new skin there is. 
Furthermore, emotes and highlight intros allow you to further customize each hero to make them feel more unique from other players. Despite the game being more than a year old now, there still seems to be little room for variety in this department. And that leads me into the final part of this video, which is what this event may indicate for the future events to come. Once again, starting with the good things, I think it's likely that we'll be seeing the same level of high quality skins, which have shown up in recent events, continue to show up in those to come. Furthermore, we can expect that despite many events inevitably being repeated in the year to come and beyond, Blizzard is definitely going to be branching out thematically with the kinds of items we'll see. While the Summer Games certainly has more room for variety than more holiday specific events, such as Christmas, it still seems likely that they will find some way to mix up what we can expect for each event, thus making each one feel fresh in its own regard. This not only applies to the cosmetics, but also the game modes as well. With something as unprecedented as competitive Lucio Ball for this event, who knows what sort of other amazing new things we could see in repeat events to come. However, there are some things indicated in this event that I'm not so excited about. Namely for me, the fact that this is now the second event in a row with few to no epic skins, emotes, or highlight intros. These epic level cosmetics I think contribute a lot to the game, but I can see why Blizzard may be trying to phase them out. People don't get excited over the new emotes or skin recolors like they do the big deal legendary skins, and so naturally, Blizzard is just giving us more of what it seems like we want. However, I think the reason we are seeing fewer of this level items is because of the event as a whole having less stuff in it. Blizzard has openly acknowledged that they plan to not remake events entirely, but rather refine them as time goes on. This could mean that the days of an event having 100 plus new items are over, or perhaps that they will just be incredibly rare. Either way, as long as the quality of the content we get with each event continues to increase as we've seen recently, then I won't be as disappointed by the quantity being less. I think the Summer Games itself was pretty good this year, and hopefully many of its aspects will be perpetuated by upcoming events. However, overall I have fairly mixed feelings about what the future may hold. I suppose so far Blizzard has primarily been steering the game in a positive direction, but when you're as big of a fan as I am of Overwatch, you can't help but feel anxious about potential changes it'll go through. So on that note, leave a comment down below with your own thoughts about the 2017 Summer Games event, and what you think it could mean for other events in the near future. You can vote in today's poll card to share your thoughts there too. Also, if you have a question for me to answer in my upcoming Q&A special, then this is your last chance to ask it. You can leave your question in a comment down below. Just be sure to write Q&A somewhere in the comment as well. If you miss seeing me open 50 plus Summer Games loot boxes or begrudgingly play Copa Lucio Ball, then check out the links at the end of this video. Otherwise, feel free to like the video and subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and hit that bell icon if you haven't already. This is Mastery and Gamer signing off, and until next time, have a great day.